Erin here from the Perfect Balance Health and Lifestyle. Welcome to another of my videos. Um, I am doing lives as well, so make sure you subscribe to me. Click the button below to subscribe so that you can follow me on my live live videos when I actually do those. And you obviously will get notification as, as to when I'm posting new videos, which I am trying to do daily. So can I just say... Um, yesterday I, I do a live on Facebook as well on the Perfect Balance Health and Lifestyle community group. So you are very welcome to come and join me on there. But yesterday we had quite an intense, um, chat on my Facebook live and really looking at the struggles that some people have with, um, resetting their mindset. And one of the things is, you know, they have been in such a limited mindset for so long that they don't know how to get to the other side of that. And so just generally talking, you know, I am pretty good at reading between the lines and I don't even have to see anybody. But on my lives, you know, I sort of put things out there and the feedback I get and the information I get back gives me a real indication as to who I'm actually talking to or with and over a long period of time what I'm noticing and what I have noticed this last couple of days that I've done my lives is people struggle they want to make a change people want to make a change and change their mindset but it's that first step it's that first step of, you know, yes, I want to do it, but I'm not sure how to do it. And so, yes, I've put together 10 ways to reset your mindset, which is really just something to get you off the starting blocks. But what I would say to those people that come on my life and these people that I talk to on a day to day basis, when they are struggling with that. I want to do it. I'm ready to do it. But... You know, there's a big but. Are you one of those? This huge but, and they cannot get beyond that but. So what I would say to anybody, and what I have been saying is, I like to know a little bit about people's lives. I like to know what they're doing, um, you know, what their environment's like, because I'm very much a positive mindset, positive attitude, positive environment. And if those three aren't connecting and those three aren't linked, then this is where this big but comes in. And so what I try to do with people is rather than giving them a task, even though there are tasks, rather than giving them these small tasks, which seem like huge tasks when you're sort of in this negative environment, you know, a little task of saying, three or four words to yourself is huge and I get that I do get that because if you're not in the right environment if you've not got the right attitude saying three words like I am worthy I am grateful I am thankful I I appreciate and love who I am you know, saying those words mean nothing. They mean nothing at all because you are surrounded by a negative environment and you are, you know, your attitude is very, very negative. And you can come back to me and go, no, it's not. I'm positive. But even coming back with that, with that sort of attitude is a negative attitude. So this big butt sits here. And so what I would, what I try to do with clients is try to get to know them because that's important because when a client either first speaks to you or they come to see you face to face or they do a Zoom or anything like that, Skype, um, video chat, any of those things, there's this common fear. There's this common fear that the person that they're going to be talking to is going to judge them. That is one of the big things that I have noticed. They fear that somebody is going to judge them. It's not my place to judge. So if you ever come to me, it is not 
and I stress it is not my place to judge. So the first thing that I need to do, which the clients aren't aware of, and I'm now giving away my secrets, I suppose, is this is where clients see me or potential clients see me. They see me up there on this pedestal. Oh, she knows everything. You know, she's so experienced. She's got a wealth of knowledge and she's such a calm person. She hasn't experienced all of these things. That's how people see me. OK, so they have put me up here on this pedestal and then they come in feeling way down here. I'm not worthy. I'm not valued. I can't do this. You know, she's not going to talk me into doing something I don't want to do. I'm not going to listen to her. I know what I want to do and everything else. Well, I hope you do know what you want to do, because that's the one thing I'm going to be trying to find out. So this is where it is. Within the first few seconds. I need to bring it to that. So I will always be or any other coach that you see will always have that level, that little bit level of authority just over you. But you see how much closer it is. So we've gone from this where you're absolutely petrified and terrified to this where you're feeling a lot more comfortable. And that's my job as a coach to get you there. Once I've got you there and got you on my side and I'm on your side, it's easier to deal with the bots. And I'm ready to listen to your bots. You know, so once we get there, it's my job to sort of try and wangle my way in and see if we can help you along the way. Oh, don't, don't believe you me. There's lots of resistance. There's lots of resistance. But I've managed to do it with hundreds of women and men here in the UK and as far as New Zealand. I've managed to do it. I'm not going to say that every single one of them's easy, but we managed to do it. Everybody's different. Everybody's unique. You know, so I will work with people at their pace, but I'm not a quitter. I don't give up. And I'm not going to let you give up. So once we get to this level and I know, you know, there's some butts in there and I've heard but, you know, a hundred thousand times while you've been talking to me in five minutes. But, 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 but. You know, what I tend to do is give someone a task to do. I don't tend to talk about, you know, I need you to go and think positive. I need you to go and do the mirror task. I need you to go and do the forgiveness task or any of those things. I don't do that. What I do, you know, some people are quite happy to take this and do it and try it. But when they do take it and try it, there are still some buts and they will contact me. And I get this all the time. They will contact me saying, I'm trying, but there's your but again. So I have to sort of give them something else to work with. So what I try to do is give them a task. Yes, the resistance comes. It's like, whoa, I'm not sure I can do that. But that's how I work. And I'm not going to guarantee anything. But if somebody really, really wants to make a change, somebody really wants a more positive mindset, a more positive attitude and a more positive environment, they will start to take on these tasks. The task may be hard in the beginning, but they know they're coming back to talk to me. They know they're coming back to see me. They know they're going to do a one to one video chat with me. Nine times out of ten, if not ten out of ten, they have tried. And the fact that they have tried, the fact that they've got over that very first hurdle, which is basically stepping out of their comfort zone and trying something, not always achieving, but trying, is a great start. So that's how I work, trying to help somebody reset their mindset. That's how I help somebody trying to become more positive within themselves, trying to create a better attitude and trying to create a better environment. Because when you can work on you, the rest will start to fall in place. So, if you are ready to make a change in your life, if you think, I need a little bit of help from Carolyn, all my contact details are below. So either pop me a message below, send me an email, 
go on one of my social media sites and just say, Carolyn, I need a little bit of help. That's all you have. That's the first step. Carolyn, I need a little bit of help. And I'll be right there to support you. We'll talk about it. We'll see where we're going. See what you need, what your needs are. They're not my needs, they're your needs. And let's get you off those starting blocks. So if you need and you think, I'm ready to do this and I want to try, and you want this 10 ways to reset your mindset, the link is underneath here or the website is underneath here. You'll see download your 10 ways to reset your mindset and then I've put a website. It's www.theperfectbalancewomenshealth.com. Go to that page, pop in your first name, pop in your email address, click underneath, it then brings you to another page and you can read the whole of the next page if you want because there's a link on there to my Facebook group if you want to join it. But there is a button that says click to download. It's a black button, click to download. Click on that and voila, as quick as that, you have this free PDF, 10 ways to reset your mindset. Are you ready to make a change? Are you ready to reset your mindset? Are you ready to be more positive? Don't let this current climate and situation get the better of you. All you need to do is ask. So like I say, everything is below. There's lots of ways to contact me. And I'm sat here waiting for you. And it'd be interesting if you do download this. It'd be interesting to hear how you get on. So subscribe to my YouTube channel. So click on the red subscribe below so that you are aware when I'm coming on. And let's get you started. Let's deal with all this confusion, all this uncertainty, thoughts, action, achieve. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.